Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to more They Are Billions! Dear God, this person's about to die. Run away? <laughs> That'd be a way to start a video. Anyway, welcome to They Are Billions in the Frozen Highlands. We are still playing a maximum difficulty run, a triumphant return into the game. And we did just survive a second wave, discovered a doom village. Looks like we've got some stragglers who are starting to run in. This is going to become a problem pretty quickly. If we are not careful, I'm going to go ahead and start moving a few units down around here to the south. This video's goal is probably going to be to train up a load of snipers and ideally start taking down mutants. We want to get this mutant down here to the south out of the way because right now he kind of scares me and could pose a really serious threat if we overextend and we are not actively prepared. That said, if we're going to be getting attacked all the time, we may want to consider also setting up some additional ballistas in a few places, like maybe one, let's say, here could make some sense. Sure. We'll set up a small wall of ballistas in this area just so I can walk away for a moment and feel like we're not instantly going to die, because that sort of thing can absolutely happen, and I'd really rather it not. Case in point, our forces are in danger. What is going on down over here? Looks like we do indeed have at least a couple of stragglers trying to run through. Good thing we have a ballista on the way. Just need to take down that executive, and we're back to on track over here. I'd like to also expand and protect this area here, so we don't have to worry so much about it. So let's continue building the Tesla network out over here, get some walls, some ballistas, and a couple of nice spots here, and then I can continue growing. That's the thing now. We, we just need to focus on growing ourselves. We've got through the first couple of waves. It's only going to get a heck of a lot harder from here. Our economy is looking good. We just need to keep scaling, and we need to keep aggressively expanding. As long as we do that, I feel like we have a chance here. But it's going to be a little bit tough. So I need an army of snipers, huh? Yeah. We'll go ahead and start training up a whole bunch of these guys as much as we're able to. Um, I think I need about 30 or so before I'm going to feel like we're in a position where I can really start pushing aggressively and actually challenge the mutants. And the mutants, you can be kind of clever with them. You can kite them. You can build a couple of walls as long as you got some Tesla Towers nearby to deal with them. Same kind of tactics I use occasionally in things like Age of Darkness Final Stand. Uh, it works well, considering, you know, that game was derived in no small part from They Are Billions. So the same strategies can definitely apply. Quarry over here. See, that's an extra 40 gold income. That's worth a few houses. I'll take it. Uh, we're running out of power again. Shucker. <sighs> um, when we get to power plants, that should make life just a little bit easier. Not a lot, mind you, though. Um, it's still going to be pretty tough no matter what we do. I would like to get another residential area, and I think this is going to have to be it. So another market may not be a bad plan. Could set something up kind of up over this away. We'll have room for a bank and stuff as well. And the more favorable exchange rates just means that when I have excess wood, stone, and so on, we'll be looking pretty, getting a little bit of extra gold and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and plan on that. Um, I, I need to make sure I save up a thousand gold. I keep forgetting. Stone workshop. Stone workshop. That's what I need next. Oh gosh, we need a lot of energy for that to work. But yes, that's the plan. Get a stone workshop, get the most advanced tech. We only have three days until the next swarm is going to hit, by the way. So let's not get too complacent here. Things will get kind of crazy pretty quick. I'm starting to think that maybe it was a mistake to build this market preemptively. I'm really counting on getting a lot of extra value from gold, but this may have been dumb. Maybe we shouldn't have done this until I had a lot more houses built up. Attention. Well, it is what it is. Um, I'm hoping that that ends up mathematically being correct since I did not do the math because I do not know the math because the exact exchange rate is hidden from me. Yay. Okay, where do I put said stone workshop? Um, how about over here just because it fits very neatly? I like that. And you can see, by the way, we are aggressively starting to clear more of this space out. Not that I think it necessarily gets me a lot right now, but I mean, it's good to have, I guess. Um, Quarry right here would get me 60 gold and is immediately under a ballista, therefore hopefully the best defended, so we'll give it a go, though it's likely to draw some attention. We need to get some more food. We'll keep placing down some of these farms. Can never really have enough of these. 72 food. Or I can go for 60 and then... No, it doesn't really fit, so all right. Right smack dab in the center will have to do. 70 food. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Keep doing that. Keep building up the population. With the population, keep getting more stuff. More towers, more soldiers, more everything. Ah, oh, crap. Some little guys straggled along the mountain over here. It's very easy to miss this. This is why the F4 command is so important. Good news is I have a couple of snipers over here already, so I think we're going to be okay, especially if the Ballista Tower could do me a favor and maybe help a little bit. 
And to make sure that doesn't happen again, a couple little walls over here would be enough to distract them in the future. So we should be finding out where the next wave is coming from in just a few hours. Uh, if it comes from the north, it feels like no matter what, it'll end up hitting around over here. West right around here, south here, maybe here, and then east over here. So at this point, I feel like I've got a much, much better sense of what the map is looking like. And whether or not I'm going to be in trouble or able to handle some of these waves. Which is good. I like knowing where the enemies are coming from, so I have a good chance of responding to them. I need to kill something. Okay, they're coming from the north. All right. Whoa! Don't go this way. Don't go this way. Hold on. All right. So if they're coming from the north, they are probably going to hit right here again, which I've done before. Uh, all we should really need to do, if we could set up another one of these towers, maybe two of them, a couple of those, plus some walls and stuff, that should honestly be enough. Then we just get our snipers in position, and I think we're okay. Especially if we can kite their dis and distract them with just, like, one ranger for a little while. That's all I need. The one thing I'm still concerned about is if I defend this area too close to a Doom Village, am I accidentally about to start spawning a lot of problems? And the answer could very well be yes. I have no idea. Yeah, for all intents and purposes, this appears to be the exact same wave we had before. I'll go ahead and replace some of the spike traps that I had deleted because I thought I'd reclaim their resources, but if they're coming back the same way, we know what's going to happen. Let's just go ahead and get some of those placed. They do slow down the small guys pretty effectively. A couple extra walls here and there probably won't hurt since I've got the lumber and a little bit of gold to spare. Uh, all of these guys need to be trying to upgrade what I can. Never mind, I'm out of energy. Of course I am out of energy. I'm always out of energy. We have the stone workshop, by the way. I should figure out what to do with this. We can go ahead and learn about stone houses and get more upgrades. That said, I think the power plant might be the way to go. It does eat a lot into your wood supply to burn all the extra timber, but I think in this case it's probably going to end up being worth it. All right, snipers, uh, I think you'll be safe as long as you hang out right around here. Don't, don't, don't kill your own man. What are you talking about? Hold on. There we go. And we'll just start shooting them as they come through. All right. I think we're fine on this wave. I'm not anticipating any big guys that are an issue. So I think we're fine here. I'm going to continue focusing on my economy and pretend everything is normal. Yeah, absolutely nothing to worry about here. Looks like we had a small autosave. That should deal with the wave. We now have seven days until the next one. They're going to keep coming. No way around it. They're just going to keep coming. All right. What mayor do we want here? Uh, resource storage. Blech. Wire fence, shouldn't really need this, to be honest. I guess I'll take the wire uh, resource storage. Not that that's phenomenal, but, you know, hey, sure, whatever. A little bit more is okay. Not, not gonna hurt. All right, I probably could delete some of these ballistas to get some money back, but honestly, I think we'll just keep them where they are because even when we do have to face against the Doom Village, this might end up being helpful. Let's go ahead and take all of our snipers and see if we can start drawing a few enemies away over here. Just clearing out some space that's not next to a mutant, at least until I hit that critical mass and I'm ready. Which is not going to be for at least a little bit. Also, let's just try to get in here real quick and yank some of this power. Try not to fire off a shot. Don't want to draw the village. There we go. All right. That's 40 more power. Hey, that's pretty valuable to me right now. I'll take it. Gold income at least is starting to improve a little bit. We're up to 647. It's not phenomenal, but at least it's getting there. Got a decent number of houses being set up in a lot of different places. Could probably just start building a lot more, but I'm running low on energy still. Food. Should be able to catch up a little bit. We're, we're getting there. Um, I need to keep training up these snipers, though. Right now I've got 15. I'm about halfway to my goal. Only halfway. These guys are going to be pretty darn effective at clearing out little groups, even at only 15 of them, though. Unless you start having the big boys, chubbies, harpies, whatever else charging at you. Uh, they're going to be slow enough that these guys should be able to handle it. What else should we research? We could get the bank. Yep, let's go ahead and pick that up. Uh, since gold is still one of my big bottlenecks, just boosting up my gold production is going to end up being very, very valuable to me. Here's the bank. All right, with that, I think what I'm going to do is delete these tents here. Please tell me I can fit said bank. Um, no, I can't. Dang it. Uh, man, I really want to do something here, though. I have to, in fact. Um, all right. Delete a couple more houses. It's going to be worth it to place down this bank and boost up my income by a lot. It just sucks that we weren't a little bit better in our placement, but okay. Anyway, we'll get one of those there and probably another one up over here as we continue building out the housing. We're going to continue pushing over here to the west a little bit as well, following kind of the water. We're going to see what happens along over there. 
Alright, now we actually have some workers again. Let's just go ahead and get a single ballista in this general vicinity. Maybe two, actually, just be safe. Sure, we'll place down two. What this basically does is mean that I don't ever have to worry about some people accidentally sneaking through here. I'm not actually worried about it, um, exactly. It's more of, this is a fail-safe. Because you never, ever, ever want to find out in this game that you misjudged and, oh look, they're, they're the infected, they're in your colony, and you've lost. Congratulations, GG. What's amazing to me are the people who play this game and literally never pause the entire time. I mean, admittedly, I feel like I'm getting to a point where I'm, I'm probably less needing to pause. If I had a lot more practice, I probably could figure it out. I'm just not accustomed to it, and it's like, I feel because I'm not super confident, uh, it would take me a lot of effort to um, be able to like just play this game without like just resisting the itch. Resisting the itch to be like, ah, pause, let me think, let me think, you know? Building. Your brain's got to be able to think on the fly. Well, simultaneously, I need to be able to talk on the internet, and that's also not easy to do. Let's go ahead and research that stone house. I just feel like that's going to be good. Landmines. Did, when did they add that to the game? Has that been a thing forever? I feel like that wasn't a thing the last time I played this game, which, again, was like a couple years ago. So it may have been something that was introduced around the same era they introduced the campaign into the game, which, believe it or not, I've never actually played. I never did play the campaign. Um, it just didn't really jump out to me, and at the time, it was kind of one of those things where I have to really pick and choose my priorities. Uh, I only have so much time in a day in order to record things, and the campaign is just not going to get the same amount of attention, so I didn't do it. But I'll hope it's a really good campaign, so maybe someday I'll come back to it on my own free time. No idea. We'll see. All right, power plants. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and start placing a couple of these down here and there. We need them. We need power plants. Uh, I'll leave some space over here just so I can continue placing more military facilities. How about one up over here? That'll be fine. It's going to take up 10 of my wood production, but that's fine. I have not been placing down a lot of sawmills as of late. We should be able to boost that up substantially. And in the meantime, we get a ton of extra power out of the arrangement, so I think it's worth it. I do not want to push too much further with my snipers this direction. The mutants will eventually be able to hear me once I get within range, and the snipers will draw their attention very, very quickly. I also really need to find a lot of good farming space. I can make use of this area over here, because I'm pretty low on food at the moment. Um, we're at the point where even 22 food is starting to feel like a pretty decent deal for me. So I'm going to take some of these, and again, as long as we have these Ballista Towers in place, I think we'll be able to defend them. This is the reason why we need to continue expanding out. If I don't start getting more resources, more food and stuff, we're not going to be able to scale up fast enough for when the final wave comes. And on maximum difficulty, like, it may feel like we're doing pretty good right now. We're doing okay, but, um, don't get cocky, kid, because this game can still come back and smack you in the tuchus. What is this thing, too? A wasp, a machine gun that automatically attacks nearby enemies. Attention. Huh. Building completed. Yeah, that's another thing I've never seen before. When did they add that into the game? No idea. Not gonna worry about the foundry yet, by the way. I don't think that's a high priority. Keep getting snipers. Okay, we are about to be attacked from the south. Now this might be the one that I need to be afraid of. Because this is where we have a strong chance of being able to draw the mutants. The good news is, I think I'm about to have enough snipers that I feel pretty good about it. So what we're going to want to do then is go ahead and start setting up some serious defenses. Um, I'm thinking maybe a minimum of five Ballista Towers. It kind of depends on if they're coming from the southwest or southeast. Plus, wall this up plenty. All the snipers are already in position. We'll probably make enough noise that a mutant comes after us. And that's okay. Um, maybe. As long as we can pull back some rangers and stuff and let them kite. Okay, we can afford to get maybe a fifth Blissed Tower here for now. I might get rid of it later on. That's fine. Let's go ahead and wall these areas off just so we are ready for the overflow that might appear. Get the snipers all in position. They're already in position. Let's just go ahead and tell them to make sure they always attack the highest value target. So if the mutant does come, we'll be ready for him um and then yeah if we can clear these small little straggling groups coming through i'll double wall some of this up i feel okay about this current situation i don't feel too worried about it i feel like we're an okay we're, we're gonna be fine it just sounds scarier than it probably is i'm also operating under the assumption that this wave is going to attack the same spot right now it looks like it's heading up over here but i don't think it is I think it's the same uh, little trick that it had before, where they're going to eventually pop over here to the left. 
So that's why I want to keep this area nice and strong, especially over here, because I'm anticipating the most problems in that spot. Actually, knowing that, maybe this is a bad spot for the ballista. I should have moved it over here instead. I just wanted to cover a lot of grounds, but now I'm thinking that was an error. Well, it's okay. We could possibly train up another uh, ballista tower, or I can just sit tight with all these snipers and trust that this many snipers will be able to do the job. Yep, all right, here they come. All right, this is more what I was expecting. They're gonna get stuck on quite a few of these walls. The real question is, are we going to have a mutant? So I'm gonna keep my soldier in position nearby over here. Uh, we've definitely made a lot of noise. You can see some zombies are heading toward us. I'm watching down over here to see if this guy makes a sudden move, because when he decides to start attacking, he's gonna come real fast. So just get ready for that. If he doesn't, that's fine. It means that I can draw him back into all of this fire. At least I hope I can. But right now, the immediate threat with this wave seems fine. We're okay. Yeah, it looks like we were able to deal with that without too much issue. Couple last harpies coming through. No big deal. We are fine. All right. So do we have critical mass, do we think, on our snipers? Well, we're out of food, so I can't train up a bunch more. I've got 34 of them. That is about the number that I said I was looking for. So, all right. We're going to have to draw the mutant to us and have a sacrificial soldier who will do some very, very clutch kiting, I am sure. If he survives, awesome. If he doesn't but the mutant is down, I'll say, still worth it. Okay, I no longer feel like he's going to come from this direction. That's not what I expected, but okay. Um, let's keep clearing this area out, see what's going on down over here. Might have found a nice safe area for me to go ahead and expand. Just delete all of this move the defenses forward, and then I have a lot of expansion room again, which is actually very enticing. Run, little soldier, run amongst the zombos. It's probably fine. Okay, uh, there's definitely a nice opening right here that we could use as a choke point if I want. All right, uh, and then rangers, you guys go down over here with your extremely long vision, see what else you can see. Mm. There's got to be some way to get down to the dang mutants. I'm actually starting to think that the mutant that I was worried about is separated by a mountain and we're fine. It might be the guy over here in the southwest that I need to be worried about. You know, the one next to a giant. Huh. This is a weird situation to be in. Unexpected. All right, continue upgrading some of the houses. We'll make sure that we get as much gold income as possible. We're up to a thousand. I know I'm sitting on a lot of gold right now. That's partly because I'm going to go ahead and start planning on moving some defenses over here. I want to have a nice choke point in that direction. I think we've mostly cleared out this area, but this would be another good spot. I want to go out here, but we still have a few more to deal with, so let's go ahead and pull the snipers over this direction. But yeah, so I'm sitting on a lot of money, and it's fine, um, I think, but uh, we should definitely start spending some of it, especially on some of these precious gold piles. Beautiful. Fortunately, nice little defensible places like this means at least a bit of extra grass that I can take over, too. So that could be worth something. Oh, uh, gosh, gosh, gosh. Um, keep expanding out this direction. All right, we've got what we wanted over here, so I need to go ahead and get those defenses. There are enemies over here, so I can't expand any further than this. Probably should just go ahead and place down a ballista tower or two over here. Oh, boy. This is actually a little risky as far as I can tell. But we'll give this a go. Try to get this defended like so. And then I can delete all these defenses and move everything forward, save on that. And then, yeah, same deal over here. At least a couple of ballistas are necessary. Gosh dang it, and immediately we get attacked over here. All right, should have seen that one coming. Um, ooh, gosh dang, a harpy. Can you kill a harpy in time? I don't think so. Run, 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 run. And we're about to get attacked over here, too. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think we are going to be okay here, actually. Um... Can you get to this ballista tower in time for it to save you? I don't know. Maybe? Yes, actually. Okay. And then we'll see if we can save these things before it's too late. Yeah, I overexpanded there a little bit. Uh, that was a huge mistake. Should not have done that at all. Okay, I think we actually managed to recover from this, amazingly. Didn't deserve it, but I think we did. So I'm going to go ahead and delete a bunch of these walls. I'm going to delete these ballistas, get 50% of the materials back. And then we're going to go ahead and keep moving everything forward over here. Okay, we've only got a couple of hours before we're going to find out where the next wave is coming from. So hopefully we're going to find out where else to invest my money because I still haven't gotten rid of a mutant and that scares me. Day 40, no mutants down. Eesh. Defenses are under attack over here. Yeah, I can really benefit from some extra defenses. I think we're okay here right now. 
If they attack from the east, we know what's going on. Why is it still saying next swarm will reach the colony at day 40? It hasn't told me a thing. Usually by now, you're all like, They're infected, approaching, we're going to die, help us. But no. What's going on, guys? Hello? There we go, they're approaching from the west. Okay, for the first time, we have to worry about this area. Fine, fair enough. Um, all right. I'm gonna have you pull back, and what's going on over here? We are fine, no problem. All right, so I think all of this is gonna be okay where it is. Let's go ahead and pull all these guys back over here and start prepping some proper defenses. This area is very haphazard. I would have loved to expand it to this area specifically, but we didn't come up that direction. I was really counting on being able to grab a mutant. That was a mistake. All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Not worried yet. Let's go ahead and keep upgrading houses. We are out of power, that's fine. We can get ourselves another power plant. Oh, where do we want to place it? We'll just do it over here next to the other one. That's fine. Um, losing a lot of wood income. We'll need to get that back up, but I'm going to worry about that later when we actually have the time to worry about it. I think for the most part, we're okay on most sides. This is still here as a backup, but probably not needed. I'll get rid of it later. This area should be good. This area should be good. Yeah, I think we're all right. I think it's just about can we get some proper defenses up and running over here quickly. Right, well, let's go ahead and just start planting a bunch of, uh, walls. I haven't researched the stone walls yet either, have I? No, I have not. Uh, ha 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 ha. Well, we can start researching that now, because I probably should. But I'm probably just gonna have to accept building, like, a stupid number of walls in a bunch of locations. And we're out of lumber. Good, 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 good. But I've got 44 snipers here. So, I mean, like, I, I think for the most part we're still okay. Though we're pushing our luck just a bit. This is the actual ugliest defense I think I've ever mounted in pretty much anything I've ever done. Yikes. Oh, whatever. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just need a little bit more lumber. We can keep adding on to more of the walls. All right, so we're going to see how effective just a whole bunch of snipers are. Again, I'm very scared of the Doom Village. But here goes nothing. Make sure you guys always target the highest value target like these chubbies. I want to make sure that these guys die. And it looks like, for the most part, we're able to kill them off before they even get to the wall. That's a good sign. Very good sign, actually. Never mind, it's a mutant! Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, frick me. Um, um, um. Okay, mutant's on the way. Um, I see him coming. There he is. All right, everyone, please target mutant. Kill mutant. He shouldn't be able to do much against walls, to be honest. But he probably just brought a lot of friends with him. There we go. Problem solved. Everyone just kill what remains. I think we're fine. But that's the kind of thing I'm scared of. All of a sudden, they came out of nowhere. That guy was way out over here, and he heard that. You see the problem? This is why we don't like them. They're scary. Okay, we really need to get our wood production back up and running because it is way too weak. Uh, cannot place easily over there. Where can I find some gosh dang lumber, guys? Come on. Ah, down over here. This will work just fine. 13 over there. We can get a bit more. I don't have enough space. Da, 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 da. Really? All right. The placement of this is a little bit awkward. I'll just go ahead and place two over there. There we go. All right. So that should mean that I end up having enough lumber production that I'll be able to get a lot more power plants. All right. Let's go ahead and reposition all of the snipers back down here. We need to do that again. Let's draw out the mutants before they become a big threat. Then following that, we want to get this Doom Village down. This is when I need to go on the offense. It's day 41. I have uh, only 22 days. No, th sorry. 32 days before we're about to be attacked by the final wave. And I want to have almost the entirety of the map conquered within the next 25 days. That's a little bit of an aggressive order, but I think it actually is completely possible. All right, call me crazy. I think that the other mutant is really close by. If I were to do a little bit of firing here, over, I, I think that he would come charging. You already saw that he can get pretty stuck on the walls. That's the one good thing about the mutants is if you have built out your network enough where you can place down a lot of walls, you can quite possibly distract them while your snipers just rain death. It's very, very effective. We are getting attacked pretty hard over here, by the way, against all these other zombies that are being dragged in from the Doom Village. We've definitely made way too much noise. Fortunately, it seems like a very manageable number of zombies, so I'm not too worried about it yet. We're okay. Okay, sitting on a ton of money. What can I do with it right now? What can I do with it? Answer, uh, mass upgrade, a bunch of buildings. Never mind, we're out of food. Darn it. Um, <laughs> All right, Stone Workshop, let's go ahead and research that foundry. I need to learn how about things like uh, advanced farms and stuff. Advanced farming techniques might save me. Uh, maybe. 28 food there. These areas are going to be harder and harder to defend until I've pushed forward in the right areas, but it is what it is. 
Uh, uh, huh, huh, huh. Yeah, every scrap of food, man. 22 food there, I'll take it. 22 food there, good enough. Hunting houses, yep, take them. I'll, I'll, everything, I will take all the food. Oh, okay, hang on, that's the mutant, that's the mutant. Pull back, pull back, pull back, and everyone start hitting him. Soldier, run around over here, he's gonna destroy this Tesla tower because he's mean like that. Come on, keep charging after my soldier. That's right, there we go, got him. All right, with that down, I can expand a lot to the southwest and feel completely fine. And you can see we are definitely starting to see a lot of higher value zombies coming after me now. Chubbies, harpies, whatever it's gonna be. Are they, they're not, they're called harpies, right? Not like sirens or anything stupid like that. I don't remember, whatever. Oh, another mutant came over here. Oh, shoot. Ah, frick me. How, how did that happen? No, actually, how did that happen? Uh, might be in some serious trouble here. We need to reposition, like, fast. Everything I've got, fast. Look how many zombies he brought with him, too. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, this is bad. Good news is the mutant is actually almost dead already. Um, so, okay. And you guys all need to get in position and just start killing everything in sight. Hold on before this gets out of control. Okay, they took out some farms and stuff. Bad, bad. But I think we've managed to save the colony from imminent destruction, so okay. I don't know what triggered that guy. We should have been far out of his range, if I'm honest. Gosh, he brought so many zombies with him. This whole place is completely infested. Yikes. All right, well, fine. Um, the good news is, I think we've stabilized our position. We've had a couple of scary moments that prove that I am definitely very rusty at this game. But, but, we've survived them. I think we're still kind of on track to make our push. My big issue is I'm now sitting on way too many resources, and I need to be doing things with them. Shocking tower, stone towers, wasps, landmines, blah, blah, blah. Nah, well, let, let's, let's go ahead and get ourselves the foundry set up so I can start doing some research for endgame technology. And with this, I'll get my advanced farms and everything else. That'll finish up the last of the bottlenecks. Let's go ahead and upgrade as many of these houses as we can, which is not as many as you would like. All right, economy is very strong. I just need to execute with a military plan, and I think we will end up being all right. Three mutants down, only three to go. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.